Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial of Cluster User Defined Network or CODN. My name is Utkarsh Gupta and I am working as an OpenShift Technical Support Engineer here at Red Hat. Now let's take a look at what CODN is. Cluster User Defined Network or as we call it CODN is used to run multiple applications across different namespaces under an isolated network. This CODN is completely isolated from the cluster network in OpenShift. It has ability to create layer 2 or layer 3 type network which can act as either primary or secondary network for the application pods. It also has ability to create multiple networks in your cluster with the same pod subnet ranges thereby it may have possible to have copies of the same setup. The primary UDNs or CUDNs will have full support for services, network policies, admin network policies, egress IPs and OCP routes. Now this diagram depicts the use case of COD, where we have multiple pods running under multiple namespaces such as blue, purple, yellow and green. Here we have connected these namespaces under an isolated network called Berlin. This means that pod running under the network Berlin can access each other without any issue. However, pods running under network Berlin cannot access pod running under network Munich as these are two different CODs. We will be able to understand this much better when we look at the demonstration. To implement the CODN, we have to create namespaces from scratch. The namespaces created for CODN must be labeled with k8s.ovn.org slash primary hyphen user hyphen defined hyphen network before the CODN pods are created. Note that if this label is absent, then the namespace will never be considered for CODN creation. Also, the label has to be added at the namespace creation time. That means we cannot add this label on already created namespaces. Now we can go through the demo to understand this CODN in a much better way. Here we have a cluster deployed with OpenShift version 4.18.9. First, we will create a namespace called blue with a label depicting that this namespace is created for CODN. Then we will deploy another namespace called green for the CODN as well. Now here you will see that I have created a CODN named tenant1 where I have selected namespaces blue and green via match expressions to be in the same network. The topology I have chosen here as layer 2 and the role is primary with subnet 10.100.0.0 slash 16. This means that the pod deployed within the namespaces blue and green will have a primary IP address from this subnet only. Now I will create a normal namespace called test where the pod will get its IP address from the cluster network CIDI. I will deploy a test pod within this namespace. As you can see, this pod has got its IP address 10.129.2.35 from the cluster network CITR. Now we are going to deploy one application pod on both the CODN namespaces that is blue and green. Here we are seeing the blue application pod with cluster network IP. However, when we describe this pod, we will see the primary inter interface for this pod is OVN UDN1 and not the ATS0, which is the default interface of pods in OpenShift. As we can see, this pod has got its IP 10.100.0.5 from the CODN CIDR. Now same goes for the namespace green as well. We will deploy an application pod in the green namespaces as well. We will describe this pod as well to see the IP address of this pod.
Now we can see this pod has got its IP address which is 10.100.0.9. Now we will RSH into the this green pod to perform some ter curl tests. First, we will try to access the blue pod IP. And here we can see that we got a successful response. That means this green pod is able to access the blue pod. Now we will check the same with the service IP as well. With the service IP, we can see we are getting the response successfully. Now we will try to curl the test pod which is running in the cluster network to see if we can access this pod or not. As we can see, we are getting no route to host, which means this CUDN pod does not have the route for this IP because this pod is running in isolated network. Same goes for the service IP of the test pod as well. We will get no response here because this pod, the test pod is running as a cluster network and the green pod is running in an isolated network in CUDN. Thank you for joining us in this video.